Ah, geez. So, pick it up where, right where we're at. So, yeah, per, uh, per our boy Jim's response and uh, request, we are going, we are going NES tonight. Just because, you know what? It's, it's not just Jim's request. The NES is awesome. So, I'm just going to kick into it because dad gummit. I love it. So, uh, I don't really have any announcements. <coughs> Other than I still have this stinking cough. Ah, oh well. And my f- absolute favorite game, least favorite sports game of all time, is Ye Old. Ah. Ye old Tecmo Super Bowl. All right, we're going to go with some Buffalo Bills. <clears throat> we want a challenge tonight. I want to get my butt kicked if I can. So we're going to go with, like, Dallas. So tonight we are playing on a NES Classic Mini. I do have, I do have an NES, but I don't have anything to stream it with. And I had never drive at one point in time. So the way I go about things here is the the only runs that terrify me are the ones that go to the outside because I always have a hard time. I always have a hard time guarding run plays that go to the outside. Whether it's uh, Smith here or... Ooh. Fumble! <laughs> well, that was quick. But I thought I'd go through some of the classics tonight. Just because it's nice and easy to do. So, I used to have an EverDrive. Oh, I can't believe I missed. That way. Almost picked. Boom. So, how is your guys' night going? <laughs> I didn't get an NES till after I had a Sega Genesis. Oh, no. No, no, no. Oh, that's bull. Oh, that's bull. <laughs> trouble. Oh, get him. Get him! Oh, geez, the other night I played this and it was, uh, it was, I think, 64 to zip. My first console was an Atari 7800. My first computer was a Commodore 64.
Mueller. <coughs> Excuse me. He might go over. Oh, he does. Yes. VCS is the 2600. for Christmas, I asked for a Nintendo, but my parents were like, ooh, this Atari 7800 is, I think they probably got it for 90 bucks or 80 bucks, video computer system, yeah, oh no, What was your favorite game on the uh, the old VCS there, Petzl? Let's see if my kick returner cannot uh, fumble it again. Was in a, I'm not I'm not familiar with Snoopy and the Red Baron. Mine would probably be Pitfall 2, and then if I had to like default to something else, I think I would say Phoenix. Oh, where did he come from? <laughs> the old NES graphics where they can only show so many sprites at a time. <sighs> Flickerfest, yeah. Only so many sprites can be on screen. River Raid's amazing on every anything you put it on. Kenny Lofton to the end zone. Hero, brilliant as well. Activision had the they I, they always had the best games. I bet you that Nolan Bushnell's kicking himself for treating all those programmers like crap. I never played... I didn't really play a lot of adventure. Matter of fact, when I was a kid, I was just confused by it. <coughs> Excuse me. None of my friends ever had the, uh, I, I didn't personally have adventure myself. I had friends that did. <coughs> Dang it, excuse me. Oh, I fell for it. Oh, dang it. Well, get him already. If you didn't have a lot of those games, like, uh, Raiders of the Lost Ark or Sword Quest. If you didn't have the manual, you kind of didn't know what was going on. You're not going anywhere. Knock it off. Nope. 
my ball. Yeah, Pac-Man was... If you knew what Pac-Man was, like, I don't think I'd ever played, like, the real Pac-Man until I played it on the 2600. But then I played it in the arcades or on the NES or somewhere else, and it was better. Ooh, you came quick. And then I had a uh, a cousin that had. Uh, oh, that was bad. Um, that had Miss Pac-Man, and that was worlds better. Can you often? Keep going, man. Alright. <coughs> Excuse me. Everything sound okay? Balanced well? Sound is good. Uh-oh. And Michael Irvin almost takes it all the way. I like the original too, but this is still my my hands down favorite. If you play uh, Tecmo Super Bowl in a uh, competition level, you can't. One of the stipulations is you can't line up as that s center um, lineman because it's too cheap. But I can essentially just do that every time. This is going in the end zone. No, it's not. It's barely going 30 yards. Double dribble is excellent. Such a good game. I played it all over the place. I played it on Commodore 64. I played it on... Uh, uh, I think there's a DOS version. Me and my buddy Chris played uh, played Contra almost every day. There was a point in time where I could play Contra without using the 30 life code and still beat the game. I doubt that's now. <coughs> I should try it. After the yeah, right after this game, we'll try Contra. No 30 life code. Let's see if I can beat it. Life Force is amazing, amazing in this. Now, that's one game I have to use the 30 life code. <laughs> it's too hard. Yeah, the, uh, it, it has to do with, I've seen people do it, uh, deathless, but, uh, <clears throat> you really have to, uh, you really have to time everything. You have to be in the right spot at the right time, at all times. Oh, I thought that was going to be safety. Fourth down and nine. He's going for it, folks. He's going to call like a run play. And I'm going to fall for it. Yeah, he 
sure did. And I didn't fall for it, though. Update. Um, last week I talked about that our washing machine died. We ended up getting a new washer and dryer, and I also bought a new dishwasher at the same time. So, $2,200 in the hole. <laughs> oh well. 12 months, same as cash. Oh, I thought that was going to be the end round. It was not. Sure is fun being a, being a homeowner. I'll admit, though, I I like being able to let my my yard go. I'm sure, my neighbors can't stand it, but every once in a while, it's just too much. Oh, I can't believe you that. Well, that's Michael Irvin. That's why you caught that. Yeah. <laughs> given, given a home to the bees. Oh, I thought that was black for sure. Oh gosh, I forgot about Andre Reed. He's fast. Holy cow. He's going all the way, too. <coughs> you didn't mow your lawn once this year? Who did you pay? <laughs> I'm. I didn't have to mow it all that much this year. I had to replace the lawnmower this year. Um, I was pulling up some garden beds. You're saving the <laughs> Mine. Bruce Smith comes off the line. Comes off the line to get an interception. Oh. Read. No, he was in the slot. <laughs> oh, here we go again. Final play of the game. Final play of the game, and Bruce Smith gets another, another in interception. Let's 
go for some Contra. fool out of myself. You can hear the sound is just kind of not right. for certain. lost. This is where I'll start losing them, though. Oh, there's my, there's my first one. My wife kayaks. Level two down. Only one life lost. Oh, I got one back. Oh, no, I did. Thank you. 
Yeah, as you're heading upwards, you always end up killing your buddy. <laughs> Especially when you're in a hurry. Alright, we're through to stage four. Only one life lost. again ah That's terrible fire's better than nothing idea of beating it on one no continue not happening I haven't played this in years either Come on. Come on, red guy. Where are you? today. Laser. We'll make quick work a quick work of some of these things. Oh my gosh. 
Man, I'm just catching break bad breaks here, man. Fire! Yeah, carp are fun to catch because they're so thin, they're so feisty. continue. If I could have kept my spread, would have been nice and easy. Like, I'm getting hit by, like, the perfectly thrown bullets by some of these guys. That was cheap crap. I'm gonna die here. <laughs> I died. I died as I got my extra life. Seem like it's like a bajillion times harder.
Phew. From what I understand, um, it's still, they're still held pretty well within Chicago, I thought. it is. I failed. Alright. Got any requests? I have preferences. Entire NES collection. Don't make me play Barbie. Or Zelda 2. I hate Zelda 2. Um, at least most of the, almost all you know, the US collection. I got a bunch of uh, ROM hacks too. Metroid Rogue Dawn. Metroid Dark Alliance. Castlevania. <clears throat> sure thing. It's a classic. Here's a little trick if you've never... If you've ever wanted to skip something before. Oh, I missed! I missed again! Ah! 
Might as well just do it now. <laughs> Oh, well. I don't know why I grabbed that. I prefer the timer for the boss. That's not what I wanted to do. Anyways, if you time it right, if you time it right, you can skip over top of that whole downstairs section by timing your jump on the bat, like, perfectly. Yeah, come on, bat. Yes, speed run technique. A nice drink went quick. Oh, that's not what I wanted. Double? What? How does something become a double IPA? <coughs> Excuse me. Oh, just, jeez, Louise. There you go. Well, it didn't do it. <laughs> I tried. Everybody's favorite thing is a Medusa head. Ah, I don't want that. Oh, well. <gasps> wow.
Come on. I can do it right here. Ah. Uh. My, uh... Floor meat. I got too greedy. Oh, that was weird. I don't know if either one of you guys saw that. The, the text go across the screen when I hit the... I don't think it was supposed to do that. Don't you know. Jim. Everybody's head is 
favorite head is a Medusa head. now. I'm about to die. Wizard's about to die. Yes, I have, uh, I've only reached the 4-0 this year. Survive. There we go. This is going to be extra hard because I got to have my long whip. Crud. Oh, gosh. So used to the long whip short one you get all your time and gets all screwed up. Gosh, it's not good. Not good. I think I've reached another one of those murder hallways that I'm never gonna get past. they turned around. The whole vision thing is universal once you get into your 40s. Oh, yeah, well, I've had glasses my whole life. All right, we've reached a murder hallway. Let's try something else. See how many... <laughs> See all the uh, the ROM hacks I have for uh, Castlevania? Curse of the Moon. Castlevania V Legacy. RC Pro-Am. That's a great game. You got it. We need to get you educated there, Sir Petzl. Made by Rare. The same Rare that brought us... Um, the same Rare that brought us... Uh, GoldenEye. Woo. Goldeneye and uh, um, gosh, I'm drawing blanks today. Battle Toads, yeah. Perfect Dark. Oh, 
quite some time since I've played this game. Keep going. No. Oh, jeez, Louise, third place. those. Stay away from that guy and that guy. It's currently glowing right now. Gosh, you have got to be kidding me. I thought for sure I was out of this one. You shouldn't eat a four-pound porterhouse. I think I'm making it through this one. Hmm? Holy cow! There was a guy who was that far out of the way. Let's try RC Pro Am 2.
Barely pull that one. I had a friend, I had one friend whose dad had an Amiga, and I really had no, really no clue what it was and hardly ever played it. Um, the first game I played on it was Colorado. Just like a, um, about the, uh, oh, I just missed it. That stinks. Missed it again. Four hundred bucks back in the day for a C sixty four wasn't bad. <laughs> mm. 
I used my Commodore with a black and white TV until I was probably... Eight or nine? That's not what I wanted either. Oh no. Oh well. I certainly was. I sucked at it, though. Supposed to be hitting down. I hate this part of this game. For that, those guys right there. My ninja guidance skills are lacking. birds tick me off and then there's this one section up here where you've got to like you've got to hit the guy at the right time those guys and then the, there's a guy with a machine gun up here that gets me every time Oh! 
Oh no! <laughs> you see someone's working on a conversion of uh, of this for the Commodore 64. I can't imagine playing this with a joystick though. I could try it. I've got a joystick out in the garage. and I have no weaponry to beat him. with a joypad thingy. Yes. GoTech is a fla floppy drive emul emulator and Flash Floppy is the free alternative firmware for the GoTech. This level gets me every time. The birds. Don't care about the tigers. These stupid birds Kill me every stinking time. I needed that. <laughs> I want to know how speedrunners take this without any, without any real. Oh, I just missed it with two of them. these guys you can make them despawn I think this is the winds no this is the the snow spot Don't kill poor birds Bazooka to the knife fight. I want to go out of my way to kill these guys. Oh, I'm about to die. I'm not about to die, I'm just going to die. <laughs> I have debated multiple times buying one. I have got, uh,. I sold a PSP recently, and uh, I've got some cash in my pocket. I was thinking about picking one up, but there's a lot of things on the list right at the moment. The game I used to blaze through here is... Mega Man 2.
probably still no good at it. Yeah. Yes, this game is a flicker fest. It's still one of the best games in the system, though. funny. I've got this, uh, rather than using an EverDrive with my, uh, my original Nintendo, I've got this, like, flash cart. It's, uh, one of those, you know, like, $30 ones that have 301 games on them. And, uh, the, all the games, all of them play just fine, except for this one. There's this, like, screeching noise with the music and the the your blaster your blaster does kind of does this like ew sound and it's horrible yes the music on all the mega man games are just incredible this is probably the game uh, outside of tecmo super bowl is probably the game i've played the most Do you have the the N8 Pro, or do you have the orig original N8? couldn't play the larger size games so uh there's like a zelda deluxe out there that has uh, uh the graphics that kind of look like the super nintendo version and you can't you couldn't play it on there And then you play the rest of the game with your metal blade. Thank you. 
I have his leaf shield already. Nope. Stands even less chance with fire. follow you. The next frog will not send out their its frogs right away. used to be my, like, almost permanent jam. Oh, you've got to be kidding me. Oh. Thank you. Blade beats bubble. Yes, it is. It's why I leave it till the last. <laughs> and I make sure I have all of the, uh, I make sure I have all of the, uh, Rush. Well, it's not Rush. It's like the special 1, 2, and 3 on this. Right. Uh, it's alright. It was bound to happen. 
I got greedy. Let's give her a kantian, y'all. The way you can do it, and I'm rusty at it, but you can jump on the edge of them and not get hit. Someone's working on a conversion for it. I've seen some footage of it. It looks good. Ah, oh, poor wind. I can't take the leaves.
Oh dear, I have never seen it do that before. Oh no, trouble. Big trouble. That was big trouble. Well, crud. I did it again! I don't remember what his weakness is. Just like I am at just most NES games. Good enough to be dangerous. I can get like 80% of the way there. I have never beaten... Who's the guy right before Tyson? Mr... Oh, what's his name? Yes, Super Macho Man. That's it. I can never beat him. Oh, quick or crash. Eh, quick try. Another favorite. Gosh, it's so good. I can time it right. Uh oh, I'm out of place already. to use a safe state. <laughs> I'm so bad at this part. Oh my gosh, am I going to do it first time? I think I am. I always go just a little too far there and do that. I do that every time. Every time I do that. Ah. 
No. No, I'm not a big... I'm not a big Mike Tyson fan. Far inside that time again. Yeah, it was rape. Of his soon to be, who was soon to be his ex wife, right? Robin Givens? that either. What am I doing? Uh, bubble air flash? Oh, I ain't gonna do him any good. That's what I was supposed to use in the level, so... to start with. I think he's just kind of popping circumstance and just think he's just mean for the sake of being mean. My second least favorite level in this game. Mainly because I hate those things. Bound, dude. Yeah, I think he's mean to be mean. I don't think he's actually. I don't think he's anybody's buddy. Thank you. 
Hilarious. I can fall off ladders, but you can't collect stuff while you're on ladders. Robert. Um, no, that's not what I want. I don't have what I want. this guy. Quick man. It's gotta be quick man. Yep, it's quick man. Boy, I am not doing good here. What is this guy's weakness? <laughs> Robert Irvine. That's his name. Real, real thick, almost fake-sounding accent. Gigantic muscles. All right, everybody's fa <coughs> favorite level that I just jump over everything. I think I've played it so much. Bet you most of that stuff's still in there. Platforming on this level is unfair. Just unfair. Can I get him to despawn? Yes, I can. Yes, my video capture only does uh, HDMI.
teacher. So here, I come to the end of the platform, and I go number three. Oh, not number three. I go number two. <laughs> number two. <laughs> yeah, it's funny. And then I get off. And then before I go to my next level, I go about the business of... Get out ye old lead bubble. Yeah. If you just skip that with with uh, the uh, the item too. <laughs> Level bosses beaten. Atomic fire. So if you go through Heat Man first, you'll get item one. And there's all sorts of things you can do. All sorts of uh, wall clips you can do with item one. And skip entire levels. I'm terrible at it. I usually end up getting stuck in the wall. But every once in a while it's worth a try. Best music. I have played it. I don't enjoy it so much, mainly because of the controls. It's still good. I don't I actually don't appreciate the music all that much. still spawned. I want energy. Oh, 
There we go. That's the ticket. I almost missed that. Oh, <laughs> I never walked with that. Oh, that was horrible. Be right here. Oh my gosh, I did it again. It's 
because the, uh, the dragon is like... What? I think it's like three or four sprites all in one. And I think the problem is, is that the Nintendo can only show, I think, four sprites per line. Dude, sir. That's why the Robotron 2084 port on the Atari 7800 is, a, is like the best one. You can have as, almost as many characters on screen as you want. doesn't help either that they give you, you know, three little, little tiny itty bitty, um, platforms. They're almost non-existent. Nah, I, I used to do save states like crazy in emulation, but the older I get, the less I, the less I use them. Did it again. I did the exact same thing. Can I go down and get the one up again? No. This is it or good night. I'm distracted because wearing pink is just looks weird on Mega Man. I'm all nervous slowing down. You can't slow down. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Well, there. Oh, okay. I got one more life. One more life. Let me give it a shot. Now, none of these guys are going to give me what I want. Well, they ain't going to get me very far. I never 
never have problems with this section. It's later on that gets me. That's enough. Montezuma's Revenge has cheerier music than this. Alright, let's see if I can do this. Nope. All I'm gonna do is beat this. Sure it does. It doesn't have music. It has the little... Every time you collect something. da 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 La cucaracha. Finally! <sighs> that took five, five lives too many. Uh, I think I'm gonna save it here, folks, and maybe I'll pick it up <coughs> some other time. Oh! Look at, look at where I had saved last time! <laughs> This exact spot. It was 40, 49 minutes in. Well, folks, I appreciate you stopping by and saying hi <coughs> and hanging out tonight. And, uh, yeah, so, uh, I don't know if you're uh, you're up for a drive, Mr. Pones, but in June, uh, Petzl and I will be at a place we call Boat Fest. If you're into the Amigos podcast at all, or uh, uh, Rob Flack O'Hara, and uh, I've heard it rumored that he maybe even the Pixel Gaiden guys are going to try and come out for Boat Fest, but uh, I think that's a long shot. That's a that's a big hike, especially when there's not really a, uh, yeah, it's on the East Coast. Uh, it's in West Virginia. <coughs> in Hurricane, West Virginia. It's in Tays Valley. And uh, this year it's going to be bigger, uh, but not too big. So uh, uh, lots of uh, lots of people bring their uh, their goodies. Uh, I'm bringing my uh, Tandy 1000 TL, um, probably my Commodore 64 and my NES. So, and I I hope to have, if anybody's interested, a Tecmo Super Bowl tournament. But we'll uh, we'll see what happens and if there's any time for that. So, anyways, um, like I said, thanks for sticking around. Thanks to my uh, patron members, the Fast Load Collective, and two of which who have been here all night, and I appreciate their presence, is Mr. Jim Pones and Mr. Chris Petzl. And then we have Matthew Warren, who has never shown his face. I appreciate his, uh, I appreciate his contribution. And then uh, our buddy, uh, Mr. Eric Nelson of the Pixel Guide and Podcast. And uh, yeah, so thanks for hanging around. I'll see you next Thursday. I've got uh, probably this weekend. I will finish up the third episode of Fine and Tandy, and then I'll get to writing. Uh, I'll get to writing the next episode of the Commodore Chronicles on Skids, and then I will get to writing the first episode of uh, 486 Deluxe, which is on Star Trek: The Next Generation, a final Unity that we played. Two weeks ago. So, uh, anyways, thank you guys for hanging out and uh, glad you were here. And uh, everybody have a great weekend and uh, take care. Merry Christmas. Well, there's another week before Christmas. So, we'll see you the week before Christmas. So. <laughs>
<laughs> I'm blathering. See ya.